in a word, it's absolutely crazy. So for all of you guys that love playing that drinking game when I say it, there you go, that's shot number one. I guarantee you, you're gonna be buzzed up by the time this video's over. Why, hello there guys and welcome back to not only surviving but thriving living in Thailand with me, your crazy kooky host, Dr. Mark Sabian, coming at you live from positively perfect Patong Beach here on Phuket, Thailand. Yes, Thailand's happiest hobo is out strolling this morning, giving you guys an update on how insane and how crazy Patong is right now. The rest of the island, it's not so nutty, but here in Patong, Karan Kata, this area in general, guys, I'm gonna tell you something. The insanity is off the charts, and it's every single thing. Accommodation prices are through the roof. I actually met a couple from Canada yesterday who are leaving the island New Year's Eve because they could not get a room that was even remotely affordable. Rooms that you can rent tonight for 400 baht, which is about 12 US dollars, are going upwards of 100 US on New Year's Eve, which to be honest with you is a joke because there's still thousands of rooms here that are empty. Bikes right now, bikes have gotten crazy expensive where they're looking at trying to get 500 baht a day over the next week, which again, there's thousands of bikes just sitting there and the shops are just trying to price gouge everybody right now because we do have a crazy influx of, well, let's be honest, Russians. The Russians are everywhere, especially if you go over to Kata and Karan. It is like little Moscow over there. Now, that being said, with this massive influx of people, the driving has become it's, it's borderline dangerous, if not suicidal. As you can see by that, that's the bottom of Bangla Road. And guys, I'm gonna tell you something, there's accidents there every single hour. Not every single day, every single hour. The driving here is just, oh, it's not as fun as it used to be, let's put it that way. There's way too many people that don't know how to drive, like me. There's way too many people that are driving completely hammered, probably like that guy over there. I'm pretty sure of it anyways. And then there's just people that just simply, they don't care. I mean, they've been in so many accidents, it's almost as if their bodies are completely immune to the pain and uh, they'll just cut you off. The tuk-tuk drivers are insane. The taxi drivers, oh my dear God. I'm pretty sure that they get a bonus from the government for how many tourists they kill. Uh, it's insane, it's, it, it's just insane driving here. Again, take a look at this. Now, we are being told by the local tourist authorities and the local police that they have put out notices to the authorities about New Year's Eve. Because again, guys, we haven't had New Year's for years. I mean, we didn't have it last year or the year before. This year, I think it's going to be epic. So if you guys want to check in, I'm actually going to do my very first live stream here on YouTube, New Year's Eve night down in Bangla to show you what it's like. I'm going to guess that, uh, as I said in the intro, it's going to be crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now, just in case there was ever any doubt in your mind as to how much of an idiot I actually am, guys, true story, one night I came down here and I parked my bike, I ended up walking home simply because I couldn't find my bike. I knew that if enough people left, I would find it. So I just walked home, waited for the morning, came down and found my bike. And the best thing here in Thailand is nobody stole my helmet. Nobody messed with my bike. They just completely left it alone. But guys, I'm going to tell you something. It is nuts how many people are here right now. And the bikes are a great indication because you can't find a parking spot anywhere. 
Now, thankfully, prices on the essentials like food and booze has not changed dramatically. Or to be honest with you, I haven't noticed them change at all. Yes, three or four months ago, beer went up, maybe one or two bought a bottle, but who cares about three or five cents, to be honest with you? Um, most restaurants that I go to anyways have not changed their prices. There was one place over in Kata that I really enjoyed going to, and sadly enough, once the Russians came, the prices skyrocketed. And I'm talking four to five times what they were two months ago. I do not go to that restaurant anymore, and I probably will never go back simply because the disparity is so staggering, guys. I'm gonna tell you something. They used to have this really nice little six inch pizza that I loved getting, and it was $1.50. That same pizza today over there is $8.50 for a six inch pizza. If you watch my video, the top five budget friendly restaurants in Patong, you will see the pizza that I buy here in Patong, which is the most expensive place to live on Phuket for less than $7. So thankfully that stuff has not gone up in price, but services have definitely skyrocketed. Let's talk about that. If you're looking for certain things such as a massage, the prices have gone up. Now, thankfully they haven't gone up a lot, but when you look at the percentage, it is staggering again, because last week you could get a massage for 150 baht, now it's 200 baht. So that's a huge increase. If you're looking for companionship, woo, <laughs> get ready to pay for it, guys, because uh, they are unbelievably busy. And when they are busy like that, they can charge pretty much whatever they want, especially when there's lots of young crypto money here looking to party. And that's what we're experiencing right now is that anybody looking for some fun in the sun with a lovely lady you better have some crypto cash because uh it's expensive to give you an example one of my friends who has been here since i got here she was telling me yesterday that she is seeing five different clients a day she's so busy that she does not work at the massage shop anymore all she does is service her freelance clients and she has five clients a day she is making, get a load of this, over 20,000 baht a day, which is right around 600 US dollars. Yep. Yeah. The bar girls that I know and talk to, they tell me the same thing. Business for them has exploded. Where a month ago they might be lucky to get one or two drinks a night, now they're getting five to ten drinks every single day. So they're making fairly good money. You know, take away their special time money that they make and just look at what they bring in on lady drinks alone. And some of these girls now are making 30 to 40,000 baht a month, which is almost what my budget is. So they're not hurting right now. Hopefully they're smart and save some of it. Most likely not, but you can always hope. Cheers. And of course the beach lounger business is booming right now where last year there were there was nobody renting beach loungers at all unless you went to the really high-end beaches like freedom beach paradise stuff like that but here on patong these things stretch out for just football fields and by the time today's over most of this is going to be packed with people. Oh. 
Now here is something that I do not fully understand, but I'm extremely appreciative of, and that is the fact that the bars have not raised the price on their booze. You can still get your street $3 cocktails, you can get your $2 beers, even down here on the beach. So let's head down to my favorite bar, grab a beer, sit beachside, do some people watching, and uh, finish this video up. Now, if you're new to the channel, you're probably thinking, holy crap, man, 9 a.m. is a little bit early to be having a beer. However, if you've been around for a while, you know that I probably haven't slept in four or five days, so this is actually probably kind of late for me to have a beer. So there we go, guys. That's what Patong and Phuket is like right now. Again, it's crazy. The driving's borderline suicidal, like I said accommodations this weekend are just going to be foolish and there's no reason for it except for price gouging bikes again a lot of the companies are trying to get big dollars for the bikes and they're even willing to let the bikes sit there making no money at all trying to get the big score from people services services again massages company anything like that tuk tuk drivers two to three times what they're usually charging all because of New Year's and the fact that we do have a lot of, I can't really say tourists because they're not doing touristy things. They've come here to wait out certain political problems back at home, et cetera, et cetera. I know this much, now that China is reopening, this place is going to get even crazier. And at that point, I will be moving on someplace else simply because the hobo needs to hit the trail. So guys, listen, hopefully you will catch my YouTube live on New Year's Eve from Bangalore Road. It's gonna be my first one, so I do apologize if it sucks, but uh, I am living my best life and I hope you guys are too. Don't waste your time making New Year's resolutions or anything like that. Just make the decision to, uh, to live your best life. That's all I ask for you guys. Till next time, cheers. Run, 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 run